Hi, I'm Joel Ort from Miller, and today we're going to do a little project. Uh, it's going to be making a dragonfly. And uh, the story behind this is about four years ago, my mother had a heart transplant. And before going into the hospital uh, for the operation, she gave each one of the girls in the family a uh, dragonfly, ne uh, dragonfly necklace. And uh, so the anniversary for that is coming up, and I'd like to make her a nice piece of yard art to put out at uh, her and my dad's house for them to look at, to uh, remember that day that she was you know, reborn and um, got a new life again. So um, with me today, I have Josh Walton from Brown Dog Welding. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, he's gonna help us out with the project. And Josh, you can, if you want, you can describe what we got going here. No, I'm, I'm excited because that's, uh, I think the best art has, uh, has some kind of story behind it. And that's really an incredible story. Um, yeah, we, we kind of, uh, he showed me some pictures of, you know, for inspiration for what we're going for. And it's you know basically uh, you know a, a, a dragonfly design, and so we uh, we took um, earlier we we drew out these wings. So this is going to be the front wing, and this is going to be the back wing. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Spectrum 375 plasma cutter to cut um, the wings out, and then we're going to flip them and trace them so we have symmetry, so we have um, the same set on each side. So. Uh, once we do that, we're going to cut out a, a, a length for the body, some length for the tail, um, and then we're going to cut some, some holes in for design aspects and possibly add some copper or stainless steel for contrast. Um, and if that's not something that we even get to, that's something that you can do. Um, keep in mind that uh, you know, art is personal. Like, I mean, that, just think about that story. That's, that's an, uh, a really, you know, really cool story and so when you're creating you want to put some of yourself in what you're creating so uh, kind of take this for hey you know that's kind of the steps I can do to make it and then make it your own. All right so we chopped out the wings uh, we did it real quick and dirty just sliced right through them um, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna trim up the edges, clean them up a little bit, and, uh, and kind of get them symmetrical. Um, it's something that I, I do with, uh, actually when I'm, when I'm doing my automobile sculptures, if I want the both sides to stay the same, I'll, uh, I'll trim out a left and a right piece. Then I'll actually clamp them up with vice grips when I do the, when I do the, the final sanding, and then it'll give you a, a fairly similar, fairly similar uh, outline silhouette, uh, what have you. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna quick go over and, and get the, get the bumps off the edges and then I'm going to clamp them up with vice grips and then uh, clean them up with the flat disc. All right, so we got the wings cut out. I cleaned them up. They're, they're, uh, they're fairly symmetrical. Um, I cleaned up the edges too. Uh, um, they might need a little bit more refinement, uh, so they don't—they're not sharp. So you know, if you got kids, they come up and start cutting their hands on them. But I like that the contrast of the mill scale and the outside and it just shined up. I think it gives it a cool look. Um, right now, I just—I'm not intimately familiar with dragonflies, so I googled some dragonflies, and I laid the wings out in a manner befitting of a dragonfly. And now I'm going to sort of trace a body. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to cut out a body and then we're going to double it up and put a, um, a piece of flat stock in the middle of it so it gives it kind of a two-dimensional look but still fairly easy, kind of like a, a cutout puzzle. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now is, is cut out the kind of just a rough shape of a, of a dragonfly. And if you're like a, I don't know, what's a person who studies dragonflies? If you're one of those guys, don't kill me on this. All right, so that's fairly easy. So what I'm gonna do now is move these out of the way and just finish this. I guess that's a pretty simple shape. I could have done that without going to Google. But here it is. We're gonna cut this out and then we're gonna um, trace it. And then the next piece that we cut is just gonna be slightly smaller. So it just gives it a little bit of three dimensionality. All right, so as we're doing this, we're kind of doing it on the fly. Um, fly, get it, dragonfly. I'm here all week. Anyways, um, we're gonna cut this rod diameter 
to length. Um, we've got a, a top piece of the body, a bottom piece of the body. The wings are gonna go in between, and then we're gonna have two tail sections. Uh, we'll probably cut, cut a piece uh, like maybe six inches long and a piece like four inches long, and that's gonna be the tail. And then we'll kind of curve it a little bit just to give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of style. Um, and then this is gonna be the antennas of the dragonfly, so they're just gonna kind of come out at the head uh, at an angle a little bit. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just trace out two little quick tail sections. And this is all, I mean, if you wanna spend time laying it out, that's up to you. Uh, personally, I, I like just going on, you know, look and feel and, and cutting out quick and, uh, and that's, the, that's the style I like. But you know, you can put your own twist on it and do whatever, you, whatever you'd like. So um, I'm gonna trace out the body pieces, cut those out, cut the rod to length, cut this rod to length, and then we're gonna weld it all together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay out a couple of holes, um, just kind of to give it the the illusion of the lattice work that's in a, a, a dragonfly's wings. Um, so what we're going to do is what I'm going to do is lay out these holes with marker. I'm just going to cut out some or uh, draw out some random designs, cut them out, and then we're going to take copper and TIG braze it to the backside. So when you're looking through it, it gives it some dimensionality. Plus, it gives it. Uh, that contrast of copper to mild steel. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna use the Multimatic 215, which is rad because we can do both MIG welding and TIG welding with it. So we're gonna use that to MIG weld the body, and we're gonna use it to TIG weld or TIG braze the copper to the mild steel. So I have it sitting up on the angle iron. Um, I often use this as a standoff on my table uh, at home, so I can plasma cut. Um, so I can lean on my table. I don't have to cut over an overhang and what the angle iron does is it kind of gives it just a little bit up off the table so when you cut through um, you're not cutting your table. You might have some, you might have some uh, uh, residue but usually it just scrapes off and it's no problem. So. All right, so we got this laid out, cut out. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna start by doing all the MIG welding that we need to do. Um, kind of doing it upside down to start because this, this is gonna be the top piece, but it's gonna be easier to weld the narrow piece once this is welded. Uh, that all makes sense when we start putting it together. So I'm gonna take this rod, which kind of spans the length of the dragonfly, and I'm gonna just do some stitch welds um, to this. Um, to start, then we will do the wings, and then this, which is the bottom, will cover the wings, and then these will be the last two pieces, the body, the tail, uh, to go on. Actually, this will go on in here too, somewhere, the little antenna feelers. Um, and then once we're done with that, we're gonna switch the Multimatic 215 from MIG over to TIG and we're gonna braze copper uh, to back up these cutouts, which will give us some really cool contrast on this thing. Um, and it's pretty big, so you know, you're driving by, by on the road and uh, you look to the rock garden and bam, there's a dragonfly. It'll look cool, uh, especially letting it weather. Um, I think it's gonna be neat. So I'm gonna get started uh, doing some short arc on this. So I wasn't thinking about it at first, but uh, it's pretty thin sheet metal, it's gonna burn through a little bit. Um, what I should have been doing the whole time is focusing my arc on the rod and letting it flow down into the sheet metal. Um, that's what I'm doing now, and it, you're still gonna, I mean, it, you're, gonna see, uh, you're gonna see it, but it won't, it won't burn through, it won't look bad.
Okay, so this is the back side of the dragonfly. And I'm gonna weld one side first, and then I'm gonna use clamps to draw the other side over uh, and weld that. So that is how this is gonna go together uh, before we start on the copper. Um, what I'm going to do now is switch the Multimatic over to, uh, to TIG welding and we're going to um, TIG braze with silicon bronze. Uh, we're going to put some copper on the back side. This is the back side of these openings. And then when you flip it over, you'll see the, the copper color coming through and it'll look really slick. All right, so we have the copper pieces kind of laid out how they're going to go. Um, I'm going to go around and, uh, and tack them at first and then lay down a few uh, stringer beads. Um, we're using silicon bronze rod, uh, which is, is nice because you can uh, join dissimilar metals. So obviously copper and steel, you can't typically TIG weld those. And this isn't technically TIG welding, it's brazing. So it's a lower temperature and you're, you're heating up the metal enough to accept the silicon bronze. I use it a lot in my sculptures uh, to join stainless to copper and mild steel to copper. And because it just looks cool, it's got a different kind of, it's got a different kind of look to it. Um, it flows a little bit differently. It's, it's very similar to TIG welding. Uh, you just gotta, there's a tighter temperature range that you have to be in uh, to, uh, to get it to join. Um, if it's too cold, you end up balling up the tip of the rod. If it's too hot, you end up actually cracking through the base metal. So you wanna, you wanna find that, that sweet spot. Um, I have the Multimatic 215 switched over to TIG, which was super easy to do. Um, it's pretty much fail proof. It kind of walks you through the steps itself. So we're gonna use that to join this together. And um, I've got this bar, I've got it clamped up, this one piece, how I like it. Um, these clamps with the flat spots are nice because you don't leave indentations in the copper. Um, and then I just used a piece of bar here to kind of span it and flatten it. And uh, I'll get it tacked up. And um, copper moves around so much that, that you're gonna kind of have to uh, you know, beat it down and clamp it down continuously as you go around it. Um, but that's what we're gonna we're gonna start at right now. All right. Now I am tacking the copper to the steel. Um, I'll run a few small beads as well. Uh, it takes a while to get it tacked down though because copper is, is fun to, to braise, especially something this thin. It always wants to lift up from the material. Um, we didn't do a lot of overlap so there's not a lot of space for the heat to go. So I'm moving around and tacking it and hammering it down and clamping it down as I go. Um, this clamp is actually sandwiched. There's another piece of metal behind it so that it, it kind of just uh, pushes the copper together into the steel. Um, but I'm gonna go around this piece and keep tacking it and then uh, run, a, run a few beads too to keep it in place. All right, so I finished up the dragonfly piece. Um, it's a little outside of what I do, but uh, it's a cool story behind it. Um, I'm, I'm glad I was able to do it for Joel. Um, it's a lot of fun using the Multimatic. Uh, it's, it's cool because I was able to MIG weld the body and then switch over to TIG, which took like five seconds and, and uh, do the electric brazing for the copper. Um, I think it turned out cool, a lot of neat contrast in the piece. And uh, yeah, happy with, happy with how it turned out. Yeah, it's. I can't even say enough. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Josh did a great job. Um, in the beginning, we're questioning putting the copper under the wings. It was a little more work, um, but it turned out absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to bring this over to my mother's house and surprise her. Um, I, I know she's gonna love it. So Josh, thank Beautiful. you very yeah, much. No problem, man. Appreciate it. I had a good time. Um, for more about what I do, visit uh, browndogwelding.com. Um, 
and you can see some of the work, uh, work I typically do. And uh, for more on the machines, visit MillerWelds.com.